Atom, an Egyptian word meaning God. Listen then, listen unremittingly, watch the flower open just when it needs the sun, watch its desire, watch that in yourself which seeks in order to discover who the seeker is and what you seek, watch the invisible and slowly your interior vision will open just as your eyes of custom themselves to see in darkness. Our principal resistance is fear of being deceived, of escaping from the control of our intellectual faculties. But one can reply to this, that sense perception and false reasoning can also cause delusions that however is part of the world you know, and its verification must be studied elsewhere. For the present, we want to see set the jar a door into a world which you did not know existed within yourself. It has something swung open a little without your knowledge, but that has been more shocking than to open it deliberately. What is the mystery? Have you looked for it in yourself? Stand before a mirror and unveil it. You can the mystery of your own image. Who is it that's looking at you? Is it yourself? Yourself looking at yourself? No, it is the reflection. Are an effect of light and shadow on something that reflects light projected on it or rather which projects itself by stopping the light. And what are you yourself? Light, shadow or think of what light are you? The shadow of what forces are you? The form of what you are? The projection, observe your reflection and the contour of your body. Which apparently delimits your life that the body is the thing for which you do everything for it. You will your daily life for it. You work for it. You love for it. You fear and you struggle to preserve its physical life, to satisfy its senses, tastes and appetites. Look at it. Has it ever told you who it is or what it will give you for all of your trouble? Ask it. Try to extort this secret from those eyes which express so little of the struggle of a soul which is your own. Sacred Geometry, the language of atom, world within worlds, upper worlds, lower worlds, inner worlds, outer worlds. Sacred Geometry, the formula of manifestation. Sacred Geometry is the universal language of the cosmos of life, if you will, and it is a form of geometry that has very specific ratios and patterns that are found in life and it's mostly based off fractals. So it seems to be that we live in a fractal universe, which means that the way life and matter replicates itself in the physical dimension is through patterns. Sacred geometry, balancing the sacred masculine and feminine hemispheres of the brain by the sharp lines, which is masculine and circles, which is feminine. Gender is in everything, the Kabbalion. Activating Christ Consciousness, the pineal gland, 
Thus, the divine man realizing the oneness of the universe. The being of atom. God is oneness. Everything is part of one supreme being. Like the number one, which is the source of all subsequent numbers. God is the source of all. Yet just as when the number one is divided or multiplied, by itself it remains one. So God constantly remains the oneness. Because he unites everything, his nature is paradoxical. He is the creator who creates himself. He is always hidden from us, yet he is also the world around us. He has no particular name because all names refer to him. God is the supreme mind. He is everywhere and always the human mind is an image of the supreme mind. Through the power of imagination, it can roam the universe and be like God at all times and all places. Hermes tells us that if we truly understand the extraordinary power of the human mind, we would then know the nature of God. Everything exists as an idea within the mind of God. He creates all things in the same way that our mind creates the world we see and sense. Wake up, O oh child of Atom. Your spiritual origin is a divine one. You are worthy of the universe and everything in it. Your status in nature depends on the quality of your thinking. Think like this and the world is yours. The all is mind, the universe is mental. This is mind movement, atom. <laughs>